So I think the first thing I want to point out, and I think people understand this, is that for the most part, infrasonic bass is not audible. The human hearing range is generally uh, specced, we'll say, at between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. Now, some people will say, oh, well, you know, I think I can hear lower than that. I've heard it before. Well, the, one of the problems with being able to hear below 20 hertz is that you'd, to be able to know that for certain, you'd have to know that the subwoofer isn't producing harmonics of the tones it's producing below 20 hertz. Because those harmonics, for instance, at 10 hertz will be at 20 hertz. At 15 hertz, they're going to be at 30 hertz. And that's just for the second harmonic. There's also going to be the third harmonic and the fourth harmonic, and those are going to be higher and higher in frequency. And the farther they are away from the fundamental, actually the more audible they're going to be. So it is very likely that some of the really low stuff that we think we hear is actually noise and distortion coming from the subwoofers. There aren't really a lot of subwoofers that produce very, very low bass. Uh, below 20 hertz with very low distortion. The other thing is that we know from things like the equal loudness curves that if we extrapolate out below 20 hertz, we probably would need to be producing this stuff at in, well in excess of 120 decibels to even approach being audible. So the minimum threshold is probably pretty high for that stuff. Again, not really a lot of subwoofers on the market that can do that, even the, the, the really hot infrasonic subs. 